All right, so I've been recommended to watch Sonic, Sonic, and Sonic review the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I personally thought the movie was really good, and I don't have many issues with it besides the fact that it's not really a good horror movie, but it was stated from the beginning that it was made for the fans. But I still did enjoy it. It was very entertaining, and um, I have ow, high hopes for uh, for the sequel. <laughs> Now, um, I'm very, pretty excited to see uh, what these three knuckles ha knuckleheads, pun intended, have to say about this film. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Right, so here it is, link in the description, all that good stuff. Now make sure to like all that good stuff as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this in three, two, one. First two minutes is an ad, by the way. All right, Sonic and Sonic, how do we feel about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? It's, it's You're way good. too old it's to good. sound this excited about a teddy bear horror movie for kids. Technic. Every every video they do, he's always the negative one. Ryan, come on. Glee, it's not a kids movie. It's PG thirteen. Besides, don't act like you didn't love Toy Story 2. Yeah, you go, go on and on about that movie. That's different. Pixar were untouchable back then. Facts. Facts. I still remember Since. going to see that with Tales After Adventure came out. Sonic, please. Toy Story 4 was the best one. What? I saw that after Team Sonic. Toy Story 4 is the worst one. It's still good, though. I did like it. Sonic Racing came out. Come on, man. Even you don't believe that crap. Thank Whatever. you. Can we just talk Jason about this goat. movie now? All right. Let's talk about how boring and nonsensical this shit was. Can you say one nice thing about a movie that we see? Thank you. One nice Thank thing? You. Okay, fine. I like that they cast the guy from The Hunger Games. Almost didn't recognize him. Yeah, what happened to that baby face? Stay on topic, Sonic and Sonic. Look, just admit it. There's nothing to talk about with this movie because it's just vain jump scares that would only scare a child. Kind of true. Yeah, I had to cover Tails' eyes when Freddy ate that babysitter girl. <laughs> I told you guys that was we shouldn't have snuck scene. Tails in to see the movie. He gets scared really easily. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. My Tails He's was a bad thing. guy. He's he defeated Chaos 4. No problem. Stop picking on my buddy. And the movie still had a decent plot. You just didn't get it because you never played the game. Not to side with the negative Sonic, hey. but I don't think playing the game should be a prerequisite for Agreed. seeing the movie. Agreed. A movie Agreed. should make sense on its own. Okay, then. Tell me one thing didn't that really. didn't make sense. Okay, Sonic, All explain what the robots are. They're not robots. They're the ghosts of the children. But they said the children's bodies were in the robots. So, yeah. they're not robots. They're not ghosts. They're kids trapped in the machines being Agreed. manipulated by the woman's creepy dad? Is this normal? Okay, I kind of agree with, uh with the negative sonic this time i'm not gonna lie because the the lore and the plot of the movie was very if you didn't play the games then you really will not know what the hell you're watching are even supposed to make sense stop overthinking it, it sonic the lore is just there to facilitate the horror that would mean what horror if ghost robo teddy bears were actually scary i've played mario games with more in-depth stories than this speaking of which when Roasted. are we playing mario wonder we can't afford Good it game. right now sonic right because you spent 60 dollars on sonic superstars also a great and game. now you're saving up for an iphone to play sonic dream team well so i'm in it i that. have to get apple arcade now you could <laughs> just use the one month free trial no we used that on sonic racing remember we i didn't play that shit with with you neither did i i got yeah. riders baby going off to ah, again. Yeah, all right then. Great. explain how the kid changed the painting on the wall and that made the robots turn on their creepy creator yeah, that are was you kinda, saying abby has voodoo lame. painting powers uh, i still can't believe in that dream he was willing to sacrifice abby you spent how many years guilty after not saving one sibling just to give another one to a child ghost oh, i don't shit. care if he came to his senses later <laughs> i still can't get over how the woman knew her father was this creep and was just letting him continue this bullshit right? the whole time and she's a cop? And after all that, Abby was all like, I miss my friends. Can we go back? Ha! Yeah. Mike's reaction to that question was literally the funniest part of the entire movie. Agreed. My favorite part of the movie was definitely the YouTuber cameos. <gasps> yes, Matt Matt Pat, Pat, yeah. Hey, that's just a theory. A, a game, game theory. theory. They said Amazing. it. Because of the horribly inconsistent plot, the cameos felt the least forced out of everything in the movie. I just calling Mark something was forced it. because you just didn't get it, huh? Come on, Sonic. There's definitely a few things that seemed a bit forced. Like, yeah, how did they try and kill Mike with a cupcake? Yeah, how can a cupcake be your downfall? Well, I mean, it happened to EDP. Ha! Good one, Sonic. Can you fools stop arguing about this kid's shadow. movie and get out of here? I'm sick of Tails' incessant crying over seeing robotic teddy bears. Good call, leaving <laughs> Shadow with Tails. Mm -hmm. Let's go, guys. All right. All right, so that was Sonic, Sonic, and Sonic Review, the FNAF movie. I definitely think it was the worst one of these videos that he's done. Um, well, that this guy has done. 
uh, just because of the two minute and almost 30 second ad that takes up almost half the video, but that's besides the point. Um, I still think it was overall pretty funny. I do love that they all said uh, it's a, just a theory. That was very nice. And um, now that like hearing the critique of it, I kind of like agree with like how many like uh, plot holes there are and just like, it, it, it wasn't as well as it could have been, I guess. It just, it was just surprising because for how long the movie was worked on, I I would have expected least plot holes. Because if you haven't played the games, then that movie actually would not have made any sense. So yeah, I could definitely see the flaws in it now. But besides that, I thought the movie I thought the movie was still really good, and the cameos were great, and I think these guys were very funny reviewing it. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know uh, what you guys want me to react to next, and I'll see if I can get to it. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. God, I miss my...